I wanted to do a quick pocket review of the Pocket PD by Sentilab. The Pocket PD is a really clever little device that uses USB-C's power delivery protocol to create a tiny little bench power supply. It's got a couple of different outputs here. This is the volt and amp button, and this is the on-off button. And then there's a knob that spins and has a click. You plug it in. After you plug it in, you spin the knob, you get a list of the profiles that are available for you. But what's really, really cool about this is that it exploits the PPS or the programmable power supply standard for USB-C to give you a variable power supply where you can dial up your voltage and your amperage. When you plug it in, there's a boot screen. And if you just wait, it will go to the default mode. If when you plug it in, you spin the wheel, you'll get a list of all the available profiles. So that includes the stock power delivery protocols that are not variable. If I use this one, I'll get exactly 20 volts and 3 amps. If when I plug it in, I'll bypass all that just by clicking this knob, it'll go into the default operation mode. If you want to get back to the menu, you depress both of those buttons and hold them. And you can select a different profile by spinning to it and then long pressing the knob. And to turn it on, you need to press the on off button. And you can see this little animated icon is indicating that there is power indeed flowing out on the terminals over here. So let's check out the PPS mode. We can switch between voltage and amps by clicking the left hand button. You can change the coarseness or fineness by clicking the knob in or out. There's three different positions in both the voltage and the amps. So here I'm going to be twiddling very, very finely the actual voltage output. The amp limit can't go below a thousand milliamps. This is, I believe, a limit of the portable power supply protocol. Okay, so let's dial up a particular voltage. Let's say I want to do 10 volts and 2,500 milliamps. Then we hit on off and we're we're going. It seems if we stick to a half amp or below, we get pretty close to our nominal selected voltage. You can use this little power supply to provide actually a significant amount of wattages to your project. So if you have a battery to charge or some sort of project that needs a, you know, higher amps, not huge amps, but you know, higher amps, this thing is up to the task. Sentilab has made this entirely open source. You can find the firmware and all of the circuit designs on GitHub. The product is on sale on Tindy, although it's currently out of stock. So there's a wait list. Let's go ahead and crack this thing open and see what's inside. Very cool little black PCB. You see the Raspberry Pi Pico. There are three terminals here for a debug port if you want to debug it, and a little switch if you want to flick it into boot mode, which I believe is accessible through the outside of the case as well. So you can flick it into boot mode to be able to flash it yourself. And then the case has some magnets in the back of it that should allow it to adhere to anything steel. Yep. They also have the 3D print files for the case and the knob as well, available online. So you could make this all yourself if you wanted to. Well, thanks for watching this review. I think this is a cool little project and I highly recommend it.